what is going on everybody thank you for joining me today we're going to be doing part four also we're going to it's going to be the final installment of the four gear differential conversion on my low c8 t rtr now we've already got a 4.0 rear diff in the back a 4.0 diff in the center and now we're going to do one in the front so this is the differential that we're going to be installing um, it is right out of a 4.0 and one thing I just want to point out, um, all of the parts that I got for the truck, I actually got from RC Waffle on eBay. Their prices, I couldn't believe their prices. Like this is a complete diff setup from a 4.0. This was $24. I mean, you can't buy the ring and pinion for $24. Like, the ring and pinion is like $52. Bucks. And then the output cups are like another you know, anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks for the output cups. So, I mean, this is with the, the differential housing and everything. I mean, you're looking at like between 70 and 80 bucks for this complete setup. setup. So, uh, check out RC Waffle. And by the way, no, this is not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. Um, I've just been incredibly pleased with the service, the shipping, everything. So, check them out if you need some parts. With that said... Uh, let's get this started. Let's get going and we'll tear into the front. So hang tight guys. All right guys. So as before, we're just going to get started with the wheels, get them out of the way. Apologize for the camera shaking. So there's one wheel. Apologize for the arm. Again, sorry for the arm. So, what we're going to do is, again, it's it's a little bit more involved. It doesn't come out as easy as the their back, but it's not overly hard either. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take off this top plate. We're going to take off the tie rods, and then we're just going to go underneath and take off the four screws. And again, take off this assembly as a unit. So let's get this going. We'll start with the top plate. I will say one thing I did uh, start pulling this apart off camera to make sure it was going to come apart. And I'm glad I did because the bolts that go down into the steer rod, down into the, uh, the bulkheads, there was so much Loctite on these. I had to cut them out, take the bearings off the shaft, along with all the plastic, heat them up, get the bolts out and replace the bolts. Um, so it, it was a pain in the ass. It was nice that they used Loctite, but they used a little bit too much Loctite. There is a little spacer, where am I? That goes under the front. I'll show you where that goes when we put this back together. But it just kind of sits like that. We'll show you where that goes when it goes back in. So let's flip this guy. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's just pull the, um, the tow links off. We'll just come over here. I'm probably in the way of the camera. I'm not sure. One screw out. Why is this fighting me? Bearings. All right, 
Let's screw out. So, I gotta get my bearings back. Hang on. All, right, all recovered. So, let's just pull this guy out. Screw. Okay, let's see what I'm doing. That should be a little better. You know, it's a little, sometimes it's a little difficult to work at an angle that gets a better camera angle, but doesn't work. <laughs> For you, perhaps. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna apologize for the truck shaking. We are just going to, that's my arm. Just going to slide this guy out of the way. And we'll focus. I did not mean to drop the camera. On the bulkhead. All right, so same as before. We'll just pop the tie rod, the sway bar link off. So it's out of the way. It's all free. And now we're just going to split the case. Same as before. One, two, this can come away, and then two top screws. And once again, if you're doing this yourself, this, this can be done in the car. It doesn't necessarily have to come out. It just makes it a little easier for camera to kind of demonstrate with it out of the car. So... Crack the seal. Well, <laughs> I forgot about that one. The front is a little bit different. There. You have these two bolts at the bottom, right on the side, that also secure it. Pull those out and differential is out. So now we can compare the two differentials. So here we have the 8T differential and here we have the 4.0 differential. Big difference. So, instead of talking, there is a good amount of grease in here, but we are going to add more grease. Hold on. All right, guys, we're back. Diff is in. Now, I ran into a little issue. Now, this is actually something that uh, a fellow YouTuber, uh, his channel name is uh, Soundwave, he pointed this out to me. He was going to let, let me know that with the 4.0 diff cups, uh, it was going to rub a little bit in the, the inside the case. Now, I experienced that, and I found out what it was. Um, it, it was rubbing a little bit. 
it's actually not rubbing on the case because the case itself is the same as a TLR is another thing that he pointed out. What the problem is, what it's rubbing on is it's actually rubbing on the pinion. The pinion from the, the TLR version and the, T, uh, the pinion from the Losi version, the pinion on the Losi version is actually larger. Um, so you can actually see by the, the cutaway of the teeth. So here are the teeth. Uh, focus. Here are the teeth on a Losi version, and here are the teeth on a, T on a TLR version. You can see how much further teeth, how fewer teeth, how it is in the TLR. Now the problem is, on the back, you don't really run into that issue because the pinion is over here, and there's no problem. You're not going to have it, you know, messing up on anything. But on the front, the pin, the ring gear is facing towards the diff cup. So now the pinion starts rubbing on the diff cup because you can see that the diff cups are much thicker on the TLR version than, than the, the Losi version. So you could shave this case down. You can do that, but that now you're taking strength away from the case. You could also take the pinion out and you could, you know, with time is what I did, the file, you could file the pinion down. And I did file a little bit down on the case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to order the pinions from a 4.0. I'll go back to um, RC Waffle. They have just the pinions there. They're 15 bucks for just the pinions. And I will replace it with the 4.0 pinion gears. For now, this will work. This will get me by. It'll allow me to test and run until they show up. But um, just wanted to do a quick clip and um, let you guys know that's what it. That's what you're going to have the rubbing issue if you try to put the 4.0 diff cups in an RTR. That's where you're going to follow on. So let's get back to it. So it's in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more grease. Now we're going to take our diff cup and we're basically going to put this back together. bottom screws. That's it. Take your other screw. That's in. Now, what I want to just make sure that this is nice and tight because you really can't get to this guy And as you can see, it's definitely it's tight. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the dry shaft back in. I said we're going to pop the dry shaft back in. No. All right. We 
have power tools. Back together. Take our sway bars again. That's in. And that's in. All right, now let's get this back on the truck. So hang on. All right, so it's loosely in. So what we'll do is bits and I'm trying to not reach in front of you so when I was saying before about this piece this is just gonna lay on the shelf right there then you're going to drop piece on Again, it's, it's taking longer than it should, but I'm trying to just do this last thing for you guys.
All right, guys. So now all the diffs are installed. Very nice. But um, we can't put those wheels back on. Hang on. Much better. All right, guys. So here it is. All said and done. The Losi RTR 8T fully converted to four gear diffs. So we have a four gear diff in the front, four gear diff in the center, and a four, ge four gear in the rear. So with that said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining. Hope you guys liked it. So uh, next video of this truck will finally be running video of the LRP, hopefully in full gallop. It's I got almost a gallon of fuel through this truck now, so it, it's going good. So until next time, guys, catch you in the next video. Stay tuned for more. Later, guys. Bye.